So now that we're familiar with the basics of using Gulp, let's take a look at some common tasks that Gulp can help us with. In this video, we'll be optimizing our JavaScript, CSS, and image files. When you write code, or let's say export an image from Illustrator, those files usually have unnecessary data in them. This data can be useful during development, but our web browser doesn't need it. If we push those files straight into production, our website will take longer to download than it needs to. So let's speed things up. So first of all, we need to install a few plugins. We need a separate plugin for our JavaScript, our CSS, and for our images. So here in our terminal, let's use npm to download these. We have gulp uglify, which will handle our JavaScripts, gulp minify CSS, which will take care of our CSS, and gulp imageMin for our images. Now that we have those plugins, let's include them in our gulp file and write a few tasks. So we need to include uglify, minify, and imageMin. And so we'll write a JS task. And that task will pipe our JavaScript files, source slash JS, through concat and through uglify before writing them to our destination. For images and CSS, it's basically the same pattern. So we're going to copy this. We'll rename this one CSS. We need to grab our CSS files. We're not going to concat it. And then we'll pipe it through minify before sending it to our destination. And then for images, we need to get our PNG files. We need to pass that through imageMin and send it to our desk. We'll tie all these together by defining a default task. That task will just rely on our JS, our CSS, and our images. Finally, let's go to our terminal and try it out. If we run Gulp, it'll run our default task, which should take care of all our files. If we compare the files that we started with with the files that Gulp just created, we'll see that they're quite a bit smaller. So there's our source files, and here are our final files. And if we compare these file sizes, all three files are smaller now. To get a better sense of what happened, let's take a look at the, uh, the JavaScript file we just created. If we take a look at this, all the white space, all the comments have been taken out. Variable names are a lot smaller, and uh, it's much, much smaller than the file we started out with. So we installed a few plugins and wrote a few tasks to handle our website's assets. Gulp was able to strip out unnecessary data from our files, and now our website will download more quickly. We covered a lot in this video. We downloaded a few plugins. We wrote tasks for optimizing the CSS, JavaScript, and images. And we reduced the file sizes of those files. That's a lot to take in, but we'll have more time to digest everything in the next video where we'll see how we can output both minified and unminified files in the same task.